Okay, so this is the last step. We're going to put in our headline text. There's going to be an easy one to put in and a harder one to put in. Um, so here we go. Look at the markup. So we're going to do the easy one first. It's text box. Um, we're going to have to type in that text ourselves. So we're going to make a text box. I'm going to show you another way to make a text box. I'm just going to drag with the text uh, tool and it automatically becomes a text box. And I'm going to type in Saturday and I'm going to create a shift return for a line break. April 22 and I'm going to follow all the parameters. So I'm going to make it Arial Black 36 points letting 32. Arial Black. Thirty-two, uh, thirty-six points, and the letting will be thirty-two. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, now it's a single paragraph. We don't need to break in, into to you know there shouldn't be a paragraph break here for sure. Um, now I'm going to make the box the right size. It actually, again, doesn't matter which order you do things in as long as they're all done. Um, for, I'm going to go into my selection tool, which gives me the uh, coordinate um, fields. And one. And it just goes right into place. Now, small aside is that I did put the line break in, but I don't actually need it. I can just put a space in because the box runs my lines um, like they're supposed to be run. Now, if I make the box the right size, then the text kind of flows automatically. And if I need to reflow it, I can open up the box, but the line break wasn't hurting anything there in the first place. So really it's it's an option, it's, it's a choice, and that is not going to affect any kind of formatting, and it's not going to be noticeable either way you do it. All right, so now for the harder box. So this box is actually rotated. So we have to rotate it 90 degrees, and the origin point is going to become a little bit of a problem. So I'm just going to do it here on the side. I I'm going to take a different approach to this one. I'm going to make the box first, right? The other one I just I put in a random box. I typed in the letters. I Then I set the parameters. I'm going to just do this another way. So I'm going to um, take a text box. I'm going to make a text box. I can work on the side if I want to. You know, I just have to remember it's on gray and it'll pop into my um, canvas um, when I'm ready, when I actually put it in the right place. Um, okay, so Ariel... Um, sorry, I'm still looking at this text box. I should be looking at this text box. Let's move this over so you can see both. And I am looking at this box. Get rid of the text chart. We're done with that. Okay. So it says box is rotated 90 degrees. I'm going to put the annual Apollonian Music Festival first. Yeah, I, I thought I wasn't, but I am. I'll put in a line break. just because I want it to be right. Um, the second annual is going to, it's all going to be Arial Black, so I'll just highlight that and put that in. But it's going to be different uh, sizes, 25 points here. Obviously I'm going to have to make my box quite a bit bigger. Eh, you know, I might as well put in the box parameters. So the box is going to be um, 8.5, 2.2. 2. 
I'm not gonna um, give it coordinates or rotate it yet because I just want to be able to work like I'm used to working, not on its side. The second annual is 25 points. A colonial and music festival is 69 points. If your text is disappearing like this, you probably have a text strip somewhere. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna move it down. Um, this isn't working particularly well, but um, actually, what's happening is Apollonia is getting cut off. So I'm gonna have to uh, track to make sure that everything fits. And I don't think that I gave you tracking, so you're gonna have to kind of. Um, adjust the tracking to make things fit. So I just tracked in Apollonial and now everything fits. Now I'm ready to rotate it. And I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Now um, to rotate the text box I have to be in the black arrow tool and I find my rotation icon and I can rotate it 90 degrees. Now I have to place the coordinates. Now look what happened when I rotated it my origin point moved. So my reference point, my origin point, reference point, um, I have to put it back to this corner. So now I'm orienting this corner. Now I can put in my coordinates and it'll be hopefully correct. So 0.5 and 1.59. Command zero to zoom in on the page and that is looking pretty good. Now, I think the only thing I'm missing is the leading is 78. And then I have to do a couple final adjustments. So the leading, I'm going to highlight both lines. And um, my leading is a little bit tighter than the automatic leading. It's um, 78. And it looks like, and this is where I want to look at the original again. It looks like it's, it's pretty much in the right spot. Letting 78 it looks a little bit too open to me. I'm just going to select it all. No, my letting didn't change, so I'm going to Command A. I selected everything inside the box, and I'm going to change my letting to 78. Now that looks a little bit better. I was looking at the space between the P and the F. Um, now I know that I tracked Apollonian in, but my music festival is not in the right place. So all I have to do now is play with the tracking to get this to align how it's supposed to align. And now there's no more markup for this, it's all optical. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna notice that I don't have a space between annual and Apollonia. Now I do have a space, okay. But maybe I need to um, open it up a little bit. So now we get into not tracking, but kerning. Kerning is when you have the cursor between a space and a letter or between two letters rather than selecting a series of letters. So series of letters is tracking um, between two letters is kerning and I'm using again option arrow keys on my keyboard um, to open up that spacing a little bit because it was looking too tight. Now I'm looking at here and Apollonia is aligned with features. I can get a guide off my rulers and I know that I need to track something in here, but I don't want to track across the whole thing because it looks like there's a little bit extra space between the O and the L, so I'm going to be able to close that up and sort of cheat my um, spacing just enough here to be able to align this pretty perfectly. So I didn't have to track everything because it would get too tight, but there's kind of optically more space between O and other letters, so I always check there first. That looks pretty good. Now, the other thing that um, I noticed that festival sits right here under nine, but look at where my festival is. So I will bring um, a ruler down to align it with this, this line, this first text line. So I could actually align to the T, which is okay. And I will select all this. And now it's a matter of tracking because I'm gonna option arrow keys to bring everything to be a little bit tighter. It's actually quite a bit tighter than I need to get. And um, oops. and so I want to spread the spacing over everything. Now, um, 
it's almost aligned here. It's a little bit too short. So I'm looking for spacing that I need to open up. And the ENS look like they're pretty um, tight together. So I'm going to open up tracking there. I'm going to tra open up tracking there. And I'm going to um, maybe open up tracking here. So just by kind of improving my spacing, I don't like it there. I'm going to open up tracking here and here. Now this is pretty much like aesthetic decisions and they're up to you, but um, by improving my tracking I'm actually also addressing my alignment issue. So that looks pretty good. Um, one small other thing. So if you're a very very picky person, you see the T here is at the edge of the box, but the M is not for some reason because the text is designed that way. So there's a trick here you can come in and give it a space and then option um, arrow keys turn it back against that space to actually touch the box. So this is a very nitpicky way to address uh, headline type but headline type kind of requires that because as you know when things get bigger the errors kind of all compound and now look at that it's not quite aligned here yet so uh, again, because we tracked back the M, so you're going to have to find a couple more um, areas to create space in the text. Oops, I'm looking, I'm trying to get in here and uh, maybe in here. So it's not going to be perfect, but it shouldn't be bad. Uh, that's all. And here I think I can push it back a little bit, and now this alignment is perfect. So when I zoom out um, here and I zoom out here it's looking pretty pretty good now I, I want to save obviously and oops lost my InDesign file um, I have all these lines here I want to look at it um, in preview mode so now it's clean and I don't have to take off any of the visual devices that I used to help me like guides and hidden characters and text threads but I can look at it without any of those in preview mode and I see that um, my, my layout is, is very close if not perfect and now I am actually done. Thanks so much for watching all of these. Um, I'll try to keep them shorter next time and please um, send me uh, Facebook messages or emails with any questions and I hope that this has been useful. Um, please don't forget to reflect about this in your blogs.